welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing four different method to access the bios on your windows 10 and windows 11. now accessing the bios give you access to many features that you can enable or disable from the bios now why i'm sharing four different method because depending on the condition you must be aware of all the bios options so that you can quickly access it so let's quickly get it started and the very first option very first method will be a very basic one that most of the people use and that is the shortcut key so depending on your manufacturer it can be escape delete f2 f10 or f12 so what you can do you can open the google search and type your motherboard name and search and find out that what is the bios key for your motherboard so on my end it's f10 so what i will do i will click on the windows icon and then click on the power icon and then i can click on restart now as soon as it will get shut down i have to tap on that bios key so i will tap f10 and you can see the bios is up now now this is a virtual machine i know so you might be seeing a different kind of a screen depending that what kind of motherboard you're using so this was the first method you can use the bios shortcut key in order to access it and now let's move with the next one so what you will have to do when you are on your desktop you will have to click on your windows search type reset from the suggestion click on reset this pc and here in the recovery option you will find an option of advanced startup so click on restart now again click on restart now and then you will find a screen that says please wait so now it will come up with some kind of advanced options like this and here you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then click on UEFI firmware settings. Click on restart. And now the computer will be coming in the BIOS. All right. And now in the third method, I will show you that how you can create a BIOS shortcut key on your desktop through which you can access the BIOS by making one click. So what you will have to do, right click on your desktop, pour up to new, choose shortcut. And here you have to enter the location. This location you will find in the description. So you can copy and paste. And it will be shut down. Space. Forward slash. R. Space. Forward slash. F. W. Space. Forward slash. T. Space. Number one. Alright. So you can simply copy and paste from the description. Then you have to click on next. Now it asks you type a name for the shortcut. So you can just type anything like access bios or whatever you want to give any name then click on finish so once the shortcut has been created you need to make a right click on it click on properties then click on advanced option and here check the box that says run as admin check it click on ok now we also need to change the icon of this shortcut so that it look more professional and cool so you have to click on change icon click on ok and now from here you can just choose any kind of icon that suit best for the bios so i will pick this one and then click on ok apply and ok all right so our bios shortcut is now ready and if i make a double click on it then click on yes so you can see now it has automatically restarted and this time it will be coming with the bios okay so this was the third method now let's move with the fourth method where i will explain you that if you are stuck on a login screen and from there only if you want to access the bios then how you can do that so here i am on my login screen and now what you will have to do here from your keyboard you need to press and hold the shift key and while holding only you need to click on the power icon that is on the very right hand corner then click on restart and then click restart anyway and this time it will again come up with the advanced option from where we can choose the ufi firmware settings and once you come up here again you have to click on troubleshoot advanced options and ufi firmware setting click restart and this will bring up again the bios of your computer so that's all guys for today these are the best and the easiest four method to access your bios on your windows 10 and windows 11 
Hopefully guys you will find this video helpful and if yes please like and subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.